now up at 165 pounds. He's Wisconsin's marquee wrestler, 165 pounder Evan Wick, currently ranked number two in the country at 165 pounds. Behind Penn State's Vincenzo Joseph, two-time NCAA champion for the Penn State Nittany Lions. Badgers will be facing off in Pennsylvania later in the year, January 13th. Surely a date that many wrestling fans have circled to see number one Joseph and number two Wick. Evan's opponent, Wick's opponent, Demetrius Romero, currently ranked 16th in the country. Was an NCAA qualifier a year ago for the Utah Valley University Wolverines. Compiled a 26 and nine overall record with an 11 and 0 record in Big 12 duels. He earned NWCA all academic team honors and finished the season ranked 16th on the RPI and 22nd on the coaches panel. Stalling point on Utah. Stalling call. In his first trip, Romero went one and two at Nationals. With his one victory coming over Quentin Perez at Campbell. 14 to four major decision. Wick went 30 and seven a year ago. Capturing third place for Barry Davis in his final year as the Badgers head coach. Defeated Chance Marsteller of Lockhaven, pinning him in just over three minutes in a very quick turnaround. Wick was down in that match four to one. Was able to lock in his signature cradle with his lanky 6'2", six 6'2 two, six two and a half frame on Marsteller and was able to swing him around and get both shoulders on the mat. And a very, very quick fall. Now ranked second in the country. Wick has already picked up big wins on the season, big rank wins on the season. Including a ranked win over Northern Iowa's Bryce Steedert. He was ranked eighth at the time. Very close match at the Cyclone Open. Wick was able to take that in a three to two victory. Steidert opened that match with a takedown. Wick was able to escape before the period was over and then got a takedown of his own in the third period to be able to secure the three to two win. Also this past Friday, Wick was able to get a victory over Isaiah White of Nebraska. In a dominating fashion, White and Wick met up twice last season. Each wrestler splitting a one and one record. And Wick lost in the duel last year in Madison with a quick takedown to open the second period. Leads five to zero now over Romero. White was able to take the decision here in Madison, as I was saying, and but then Wick saw him at the Big Ten Championships in East Lansing and was able to take the victory. Nothing major going in the scramble between Wick and Romero. Remains five to one, two minutes and 29 seconds of riding time for Wick. Now there's two points for Wick. Led the team with over 100 takedowns last season. <laughs> Including last year in his, his tour on getting to third place in the NCAA championships. Wick has won thus far 12 straight matches if you include last season. 
with his last loss coming to David McFadden of Virginia Tech as we see Wick being able to come around and get the takedown on Romero. Leads nine to one here with 42 seconds left in the second. McFadden was an individual that gave Evan Wick hard times last year, defeating him twice at the Cliff Keen Invitational, as well in the NCAA Championships. But now David McFadden's up at 174 pounds for Virginia Tech. And Wick finds himself at the number two spot in the country at 165 pounds. Fifteen seconds left, short time here in the second. Evans lead now nine to one. Riding time's already locked in. By the end of the period, he'll have nearly three minutes and 50 seconds of riding time. So basically it's 10 to one heading into the third here. So you can see Evans' mat return of Romero. They scramble around in the third. Wick's certainly looking for bonus points with a nine to one lead, 10 to one due to, due to the locked in riding time point. Nothing yet for Wick. Redshirt sophomore out of Marietta, California, San Marino High School. Looking to turn Romero and there's another takedown. Potentially dangerous call. Romero will go down, wrestles will center up. Minute 18 left. One point escape for going neutral. Wick elects neutral, so award one point to Romero. 11 to two now. Minute 11 left. You can just see Romero's struggles in having to break down the frame of Evan Wick, 6'2". You just don't see that with many 165 pound wrestlers. As you can see, he's just able to sprawl out and just establish a base and balance for him that makes it severely difficult for other wrestlers to be able to get around, turn, and score on. And even in some of Wick's difficult matches last year, like against Isaiah Martinez, a two-time national champion, there were times where Martinez even had difficulty in trying to bring the 6-2-6-3 redshirt sophomore down. As typically you see 165 pounders not even above like six feet tall. So to see someone with the size and the frame of Evan Wick definitely makes his talent and being able to score on him different. Another potentially dangerous call that will center up the wrestlers. Wick quick in on the single. Can he lift and drive to get another takedown on Romero? <laughs> that will do it for the 165 pound bout. Evan Wick takes a major decision victory, 13 to two with riding point, three minutes and 52 seconds of riding time.